is the uh, the Hook Church, St. Duvin's Church. It's all part of the Norman Way. And I didn't get to see it the last time I was out to do the Hook Lighthouse. So I was visiting the Hook Lighthouse with my mom. She's visiting from Canada. So we went to have a little breakfast there. So as we're stopping by, I thought it'd be a nice place to go see. Here's the old church. It's right on the, the coastline. Obviously the roof's no longer around. But you see all the old headstones in the old church. Very old, very old graveyard. See this one. Here's one, 19, 1860 to 1934, just a simple wooden cross. I would say that it would have to be maintained by the family. And then here is the back part of the chapel. And then we're going to try to peek our head inside. Not sure what the year it is. Johnny Canna of Churchtown, 1873. Here's another old one. Anastasia Tuttle. Going back way long time ago. And here's the front part of the chapel. The old windows. And this is located 1.2 kilometers just before you get to the Hook Lighthouse. So, we'll do a thumbnail maybe. Nineteen seventy-two is the oldest one on that, but it started in nineteen forty-six. So it's located one point two kilometers from the uh, Hook Lighthouse. So you just pull in when you're on the way in or out, depending on which, and take a look at it. It's really interesting. You know the old stone. Which I don't. Uh, maybe I'll do some research to see when it stopped being used, and I'll put the. Uh, put it in the uh, comment section or just link it up here but there you go and like I said there's a sign see the ring of hook hook head and then the hook church anyways hope you enjoyed that little snippet and uh, let me know if you uh, have any other places you want me to go see Okay, so as we were driving up, we, had, we came to the first turn and there was a sign for Slade, Slade Village. So we decided to pop our head in here and look at what we have here, Slade Castle. I've never even known this was here. So this is right near Hook Lighthouse. And we'll go up to the details of it. It's a four-story town, tower house built by Laffin family in the 15th century. So there, it's part of the OPW. And here's the little village you can see. The little fishing boats there. And they make their way out there. Jeez, that's a pretty tight turn. So you're going from here, and you have to make the turn out there to get out into the quay and into the water. Now you see it's very windy today. We'll take a look around this castle, see if we can poke our head in. It's locked there, but we can maybe get the camera in there. There's a fireplace. And let's uh, see what else. There's a girl. Well, it goes all the way up there. There's some lobster. 
Let's let's take a look at these stairs. Is that locked? Everything's locked. Step in there, head in there. Let's see. So you see it goes back as a walk around it. Very thick walls. And here's the outside of the castle. And there's a small little village, slave village. Take a look. So maybe I'll do a thumbnail here. Just leave the castle as we're heading back towards the car. Look at that. It's a fabulous old little village. And it's right on the coast of Wexford. So it's not far from the Book Lighthouse. And then there's the water. That's a little tight place to get out though. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that little, this village of the uh, Slade and the Slade Castle. Okay, so, and here I am inside the castle wall. Now, I, normally these places are closed off and that, but this one was actually open. A little precarious to get in and out. I'll show you where I came in from. See a lot of bird droppings everywhere, but you can actually get in here. This is side. So this is pretty cool. As you're coming back from the hook head, it's this on the left hand side, not far a ways out, so you have to watch, you might miss it. And here's the church. Obviously not being used anymore, but it's pretty, pretty neat. So this was the chapel, and there was the, sh the castle we're talking about. It's really neat. So, Valle Antempal, so Temple Town. So here we have, so you have Hook White House. There's the church. Then we went to Slade Harbor. And then on your way back, you're right here, Templeton. And it looks like the Temple Knight, Temple Knights. And it's all part of the Norman Way. So we'll take a look on the outside a bit. I'll show you. So here's the graveyard. And there's the Templeton Castle. Look around this side too. Couldn't believe we saw this. Like I didn't know it was here. We drove by it, of course. And there's the little village of Square. area make sure you stop by it's pretty cool get some good pictures well my mom and Emily decided to stop at Duncannon to get an ice cream I took the time to walk up to the fort the Duncannon fort it's closed right now um, so we can't get in but I decided to walk up and see 
what I could see at the top of this hill. You can see the chapel up there in the top. And there's the Duncanon Beach. And there's two horses grazing away on this side. And then you walk on the other side, there's two goats just grazing away. So this is the fort. I'm going to get to the bottom, I'll show you the signs that tells you the availability of the tours if you want to come here and when it is and right now the time of year I think it's only Wednesdays and Saturdays it's open I figure so it's right on the beachfront so you have the cannons and that facing out to the sea and then I don't know if you can see the layout of the fort there but basically you can go in and do the tour it takes about an hour now I'll just walk to the beginning again. There's the beach there. And there's the little village of Duncan. Right now, for July and August, or June, it's Wednesday and Saturday. July and August is seven days a week, 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. And it's a 60 minute tour. So now I'm just gonna head back. And like I said, it's all part of the Norman Way. These are spots that are located all over the place so you can go and see. And there's what the fort would have looked like originally. And then now we'll go try to find the girls and see if they've got their ice cream. I was walking down, I came to the beach, wanted to show you what the beach looks like in all its glory. There's Emily and my mom looking at it there. And just, you know, the tourist information office is right there. And that's where they were going to get the ice cream, I think. The off-the-hook takeaway. Or there's an ice cream there. I don't know if they got it. Or if they had to go in there, maybe. Looks like they're without ice cream. Anyways, just wanted to show you the beach and what it looks like. Look, at Duncanon.